You are standing in the Line 6 performance space at the NAMM show. And uh, while I would normally take a bunch of time to talk about all the stuff that we've done for the show, we actually have another room for that, and I'm going to spend my time talking about something that I'm very excited to present to you, which is basically a new way of thinking and working for live musicians. And specifically, I'm referring to live musicians who do their own sound. Because the challenges that guys that mix themselves face are basically the same no matter what kind of music you play. So for one, if you want to get consistently good mixes in all the places you play, traditionally you have to be a pretty good sound guy. right? Uh, acoustic environments are organic, they're, they're, uh, they're unruly, they change a lot. And to get consistently good mixes everywhere you play, you have to be a good sound guy. And unfortunately, that takes a lot of time to amass that knowledge. Some people don't have that kind of time. So it would be nice if you had something that could speed that process up. As well, all sound systems you can currently buy for live sound reinforcement do not scale well. And by that, I mean that if you're playing a coffee house gig, all your PA needs are very small. You can buy a small system and be fine with it. It will do just the job you need it to do. However, if you try to take that system and play for a thousand people, have the system help you play for a thousand people, it can't do it. There's nothing about that investment that you made that will help you play for a thousand people. Basically, no matter what that investment was, it's now useless. Conversely, if you have a PA that can handle playing for a thousand people, if you want to split it up into pieces and be able to play for smaller amounts of people, in some ways that doesn't work either. At some point, it's going to be too big and too unruly to make any sense to bring into a coffee shop. Think about being a musician, and there are lots of musicians here. If you're a kind of musician that plays 200 gigs a year and you do your own sound the whole time, and then you have those five gigs in the summer where you get to play a street festival or something like that, and you get a big stage and you get a sound guy or whatever, those are the best gigs. Those are the best gigs, they are. And so, you know, traditionally when you're talking about it, you figure, oh, well, the reason why is because there's lots of people there and there's girls and whatever. Because, you know, if you're a jazz guy, there's no girls at the club, right? So, yeah, if you're playing, if you're playing fusion, that's the quickest way to not have women show up, anyway. But the point being that the reason why those gigs are great, it is not because of the audience, it's not because of the space, it's because for the first time, those musicians don't have to worry about being the sound guy. For the first time, for those five times a year, those guys can just concentrate on being a musician. So what we're really talking about is the, is the very firm foot forward of line six into the live sound arena with the introduction of two different product lines. The first is an intelligent, networkable, self-powered speaker called Stage Source. And if we go to this stage here, I'd like to talk to you about it. So these, the new stage source speakers, uh, are basically a network-aware, standalone, self-powered speaker that is also intelligent enough to be a small, standalone PA. And by small, I'm, I'm using that word figuratively because that actually puts out 1,400 watts of power. So it has two 10-inch speakers, it has a one-inch horn in the middle, uh, it has the ability to retune itself, which I'll talk about in a second. But if you look on the side here, you can see that it has a built-in small digital mixing console built right into the side of the speaker. So you have input, three-band EQ with sweepable mid. You also have effects built in right in the top, right inside the speaker. So you have a modulation effect, which would be like a vocal doubler, and you also have a digital reverb. So if you think about problems that plague gigs like this and any other gig would be feedback, right? I mean, if you talk to any musician that does live sound for themselves, one of the really scary things about that kind of environment is feedback. This guy actually takes care of that for you. There is a feedback suppressor built right into the speaker. If you enable that, it will scan the entire audible band and remove up to 12 frequencies that are giving you problems. It does it in three different modes, one that's very, very accurate and super, super picky about what it picks out, and some where it sort of lets a few through because you're playing an acoustic chip. So very cool. As well, up at the top here, you see it says uh, acoustic modeling. We figured that the use, uh, in some ways, of, of this kind of environment would be an acoustic guitar and a vocalist. And if you think about the traditional sound of an acoustic guitar with a piezo pickup in it, the way those pickups work is there's a small crystal in the bridge that the strings are strung over, and then that creates vibration and makes the noise. That has nothing to do with the sound of an acoustic guitar. It has nothing to do with the body resonance, nothing. It's literally just metal. So traditionally, those guitars don't sound very nice. If you have that kind of a situation, you can turn this on, and there's a Variax acoustic modeler inside of this, and you can dial in the amount of body resonance that you'd like to add to your existing acoustic guitar. So you can turn kind of a, a nasty sounding acoustic guitar into something that actually sounds much more natural and authentic. If you switch to the other side, 
you can see that this panel actually has more stuff if we go from the top down now. So you've got the uh, line input on the top. You also have a stereo line input. So if you want to put in an MP3 player to play break music or you want to be able to play over some sort of tracks or something like that, you can do that all in one speaker. So that gives you four inputs, not just two, right? As well, you have mix outs and you have the master knob, that kind of stuff. But in here, you have something that's very important. Uh, we're calling it smart speaker modes. And basically, it gives the speaker the ability to retune itself depending on what you need it to do at the time. So its default behavior is PA mode. Makes sense. Uh, however, let's say you're playing a DJ gig and you need a lot more low-end extension and top-end extension because you're playing only commercially made tracks, only CDs. Yeah, flick it into DJ mode. So it has all sorts of different modes that it can behave in depending on what you want it to be. An electric guitar, speaker cabinet, if you want, all sorts of stuff as well. If you think about your iPhone or your iPad, when you flip it over on its side, the, see, the screen changes from landscape to portrait, right? Or portrait to landscape, whichever way that it would be. The reason that happens is because the iPhones and iPads and things actually have a device in them called an accelerometer. And it knows when the device is oriented this way or that way. And so does this guy. So this guy also has an accelerometer. And if you flip him on his side, he will automatically configure himself as a floor wedge. And it will change the way that he aims the audio back at the performer, which is pretty cool. It's extremely smart how cool this thing is. It also has kickstands and a larger kickstand here, so you get two different kind of kickstand angles that it will actually help you with, which is nice. So you can uh, easily take this out and gig with it. Underneath that, you have the jacks for Line 6 Link, and I'll, I'll talk about this more in a moment, but all you need to know right now is it is a network-enabled protocol from Line 6 that allows different Line 6-enabled devices to talk to each other. And in some cases, when you connect them together, they will change their behavior to better suit whatever they've just been plugged into. Now, I could easily have me do some sort of poetry slam or something uh, to demonstrate the speaker, but I'm not sure if that would be all that sexy. So instead, uh, we invited someone who we like very much uh, from Philadelphia. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jim Boja. Problem now with some one new. It's all been solved. I bought your song, but now so long. There's nothing wrong with me. Now I came back to life. When I decided to lose the constant strife that you provided, now I'm strong to run along. There's nothing wrong with me. I said I'm the easiest guy in the world to live with. I'm not saying I'm incapable of doing something wrong But what I'm saying is now I've been given some understanding Somebody recognizes my good intentions Without throwing all my motives up for constant reinvention That's practically poetry slam right there 